2020 will go down as the year of the greatest, greatest, greatest robber. Yeah. When a boogie was pulled over our faces in broad daylight, yeah, 2020 shall never be forgotten. Where the mafias manage to hoodwink us into submission. Yeah. You know, majority of us, they don't dispute the existence of the coronavirus, even though its origins, yeah, they still leave a lot to be desired. I heard when they asked Donald Trump about the corona being manufactured in a lab or reinforced in a lab, there are so many studies, there are so many theories to that, but I will not confine myself to that. I'm not a scientist, I'll confine myself to common sense, common sense, you know, over this coronavirus that has been exaggerated. Yes, coronavirus belongs in the family of flu, like any other flu, you know. Flus or flu differ every year. And I can tell you, for a fact, global statistics, between January 2020 and March 2020, two million people have died from flu. We've never heard of sin. This massive agency, soldiers, police, lockdowns, and taking advices from a corrupt body, a corrupt body like World Health Organization, of which we all know who's driving it. The secret societies. I know when you say secret societies, people start saying, no, you're talking conspiracy, conspiracy. Yes, people do conspire. They do conspire. And the word conspiracy theory, you know, it's often used by those dumb people who don't investigate, who don't research, to just say conspiracy theory. And if you ask them you know, to break it down, what do you mean by conspiracy theory? Conspiracy. Do you know what the meaning of conspiracy and the theory? Yeah, but I'm not an English teacher. But it is amazing. You fear mongering. Pushed. And then you ask the numbers. You ask the numbers. Do they justify the lockdowns that we've seen? Soldiers pushed, roadblocks, hmm? economies killed. In broad daylight, small businesses, medium enterprises built over years, destroyed hmm? over a hype. Some people will say, Ike, you can't put economy before human lives. Hmm. Try to exist without economy. Try to exist without money or bread. Then you'll tell me, you know. In our constitution, section 11, there's right to life. Right to life doesn't mean that you must just exist. Right to life is coupled with the quality of life and what makes that life possible. What can make life possible? Hmm? If you can't afford to buy, if you have no money buying power, if you are imaginary in this economy, what quality of life? You'll have no life. You will die slowly. And look now, who is living? The big multinationals. You see people wearing overalls, white overalls, spraying, monopolizing sanitizers. You don't ask yourself questions. Why and how come some are making massive profits? People don't ask questions. I often say that, you know, it's easy to return slavery or the black slave trade because majority of blacks, they will fold their arms, go to church, pray and say, it is the will of God. They will say it is the will of God. And we have the media pushing, not investigating. There's so many scientists coming, you know, coming with evidence that says corona 
is not as deadly as we are told. Even our health minister, Zwedim Kiese, said there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to go out there, you know, build immunity because more than half of the population will acquire it. Just like any other flu. Tell me one person in this life who has never had flu. How many? And if Quran belongs to the flu family, so it means many people will have it. And then you check the figures. They tell you they are very own orthodox scientists that this thing, it kills mainly the old or the elders, people with underlying conditions. Do you have an underlying condition? Hmm? Right now, we've been under lockdown extension or extension of the lockdown reloaded because it's going to be reloaded again. I sense that. And you don't see massive ambulances running into townships, hospitals, like we see on TV in Italy, where this thing was exaggerated. Today they're telling you that in Italy, 90% of the people who died, they've got problems. As we know that they say 90,000 people in Italy, they die from respiratory illnesses coming from smoking, cigar. And majority of those people who died in Italy are the old people, vulnerable because of other illnesses. And we hear stories from other countries that they are diagnosing people with flu-like symptoms. Some without being properly tested, they just say corona related. If you die from an accident, they just check, you know, few symptoms and they say corona related. We hear those stories. We hear and we see in these videos where they show you one hospital. They say it's New York. The next moment they show you the same hospital. They say, Italy. I mean, not fools, but I guess majority of the people are fools. Oh, they don't have an interest in this because look, in South Africa, whether you shut the economy or not, majority of the people are not working anyway. And the small business uh, people, they are few. And the majority of people who are working, they're working for the government. You know, they say about 2 million civil servants, they are earning. Many of them, they don't like to work. Many of them, they are lazy. They often insult our parents at hospitals, past office. So for them, it's Black Christmas. They are earning, sitting at home. The government has bribed taxi owners, given them 70% of the stake. But... Yeah, we will see. We will see how far they can go. We will see how far they can go. And you hear government officials saying they're slashing down their salaries by one third. Why not forfeit your salary altogether? Why not? Like majority of the people, street vendors, hawkers, who are not making money because of the lockdown, which is exaggerated. Even though the numbers are docked, there's a term that they use, they say docked, I don't know whether I'm using the term correctly, but the numbers are seem to be manipulated. They don't make up, they don't make up the numbers enough to justify the lockdown. You tell me, we're now taking instructions from World Health Organization, which is corrupt, by the way, coming into this covid They've been covered in shame of corruption. World Health Organization, that was fighting in big for years because their interest is that you declare the state of emergency, then they come in with their pharmaceuticals. 
you no longer have control of your country. You've got Billy Gators, the Rockefellers coming in, telling you what to do. Like now, they are telling us, the World Health Organization, that you can't lift the lockdown now. You know, you'll have to vaccinate people. Bill Gates said that you have to vaccinate people before it can be safe. So they're going to make money from the vaccine born. Nobody's going to school. Kids are not going to school. Varsity students are not going to school. Majority of the hustlers are not working. And I'm looking at the events in America. People now coming out in the streets, the media condemning them. These people are smart enough. Maybe only here in Africa and other countries where the majority of the people you know, are told by the government that they must stay indoors because they are not smart enough. They don't know what to do. They're like children. They don't know what to do. Hmm. Not to contract a flu. Because coronavirus, if it belongs to the family of flu, yes, slightly strong. But are you telling me majority of the people cannot take care of themselves. They don't know what to do. Yes, the social distance. All those measures that you need to implement in making sure that you prevent the spread. You're telling me that you don't know that. Taxi people do. Pick and pay stuff. Shop right. They do because they're out there. Or maybe something is special when they're out there. Politicians, they move. Really need police Traffic officers, soldiers, hmm? are they more informed, more than you? Are they the only people who know what to do? Hmm? Not to spread the corona. Majority of the people, the children. You know, I remember back in the days, in about 84, 85, Pesama Comrade used to march in the streets. About Mama, but hey, Susana Bantuan, or Magdula Bututsi. Because they knew who they who the chaos. In Zagano, my in because Napasuna Mapu, no Napasuna Nabotsozi. So, but Susana went to an among the mile starting. So, now you are told, no, 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 stay indoors. It's not safe, but it's safe hmm? for an army general like that drunkard who said we come in. Scope and donor, it's a drunkard, that guy. Majority of these soldiers, they're very unfit. Actually, they will die first. They're very unhealthy. Majority of our security officers, they're very unhealthy. They will die first if this corona was anything to go by or as strong as we are told. Are you telling me hmm, that you don't know what to do to save ourselves? Yeah, they're pushing the fear effect. Zulem Kiza said that we're going to get it. We need to go out there, build immunity. In Italy, this thing has killed the older generation. And even the figures, we are told that 90% and more, they had underlying conditions. Even here in South Africa, you can't run away from flu. You can't run away from flu. Flu kills more people than this corona. There are many illnesses and diseases that have killed people. We have Bo Karim. You know, I said earlier on, this Professor Karim, because I've been complaining and saying we need to see more scientists on TV than we're seeing these clowns, this corrupt piggy tail. Now they bring Professor Karim to come and push the World Health Organization and reinforce, you know, the very same old narrative, tired narrative of flattening the curve. What pseudoscience is that, flattening the curve? Flattening the curve. Imagine being told that, no, we are flattening the curve. Go stay at home. I've never heard of such nonsense. And I'm saying this now. Maybe some people, they need to be investigated. Their interest who's been funding them, check their bank accounts, like Bonabo Karim, I don't trust him, 
is starting to sound like World Health Organization. Even now, the government is slowly relaxing the lockdown. He's complaining. He's lamenting. Why? If you're not happy about your boss relaxing the lockdown, resign. Why are you acting like a lobbyist? Hmm? Like these fools who are condemning Donald Trump. You listen to Donald Trump. You can't find anything faulty with him. You can't. The guy makes perfect sense. He says, open up the economy. I know that some journalists, they say, no, he's got interest in this company. A. He's a billionaire. He's made his money. Even where they said he has an interest in this drug company, he was, I think if I were to state it correctly, he say, they say the interest is about $1,000, you know, worth of interest in that company. This guy is a billionaire. The journalists, they are lobbyists, puppets, spies, pushing for their funders. Cyril Ramaphosa, he tweeted, thanks to Bill Gates. The very same Bill Gates, who's been talking about viruses, like Obama and George Bush, they've been talking about these pandemics, hmm? praying for it, probably plotting. Now, this flu, or flu-like corona. It has a good PR. Shot, you know, high in the ratings. We're told that you must stay at home. We need a few more weeks, if not months. So I'm talking about 2022. 20, 20, that, yeah, will open up properly in two years' time. And I know that we are divided on this issue. I'm not campaigning, but sometimes, you know what? I wish that people were wiser. You know, I wish that people could challenge, protest uh, this, you know, debate this because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Even the power of Corona, the recovery rate, how many people have recovered? You don't see them on TV. You see a person today says, I've got Corona. All these celebrities being used, Bori D, uh, announcing their relatives, someone who's far, long distant relative, and say, you know, I've suffered corona death, just to create the hype. Bova, we coming, Bo, is it Zonda Mandela? I'm not, but Mandela grandson coming. It's funny enough, when these guys recover, you don't see them anymore. Some are some assaulting. You hear, but no, no, I was misdiagnosed. Where is Mishra? Is he dead? Prince Charles. Boris Johnson, hmm? address Alba. There are many people in high places, or maybe it kills people with no names, no addresses, no faces. And even though it killed those people, the numbers are relatively very low compared to the shutdown we've seen over what the Minister of Health is telling you that you're not going to avoid this. You're told that the numbers are rising. And you're in the lockdown. And our minister said it. You know, you're going to have to build immunity. You can't run away from flu. I've never heard of such signs. Flattening the curve. I've never heard of such nonsense. People are using state of emergency. There's been other diseases far more worse than this. We've never had state of emergencies. All of a sudden, people can't buy chicken, can't buy a pie. And they never thought about this. I've been raising these issues. The so-called non-essential, defining others good, they're not essential. Those essential, how are they going to move around? Because the economy is interlinked. You need petrol. You need a refiner to have petrol. You need a mechanic to fix the car. You know, you need so many things. This economy is so interlinked for you to cut out other people. And uh, anyway, there are so few people who are working or running businesses in South Africa. The current recipients, they've shot. 
you know, to biblical numbers. And I know that you're going to try to bribe them, give them more and more money so that they don't revolt. Like they will still pay the public servants, ministers. Many ministers are useless. Monat and Ted, why are you paying that guy? Yeah, no big trailer. You're paying him for what? Didn't he benefit from that corruption deal? Yak? It's crazy. It is crazy. You know, I like Donald Trump because the other time he had a press conference with people who've recovered from Corona. You could see them. People know them. They've got addresses. But here we are told that the numbers are shooting. You know, up. There's a rebound. The curve. It needs to be flattened. When are you going to flatten the curve? Corona is going to be with us forever or for a very long time. Like any other flu. We still have flu today. If Corona it's something like flu or it belongs to the flu family. So for how long are going to shut down? For how long? People criticizing. People trading in alcohol as if they are greed. No. People have got families to feed. They've got lives, houses, bonds. They got to make a living. If that's the case, let us, all of us, including members in the opposition in parliament, forfeit salaries, civil servants, forfeit salaries. I need, we are in shutdown. We are all in solidarity. You are fighting, you are flattening the curve. Hmm? If small businesses are not making money, they're going to tell you about this rescue package where they'll want you paperwork, a long paperwork. Majority of the people, you know, cannot even fill one paper of that shit. You know, some are told that it's a loan and they're never going to give everyone and anyone money. Are yeah, they going to give me money? You know, what? I could have made now since the lockdown. If a month I'm making 700,000 to a million, are they going to give me that? I don't need 2,000. I don't need 2,000. My expenses are not 2,000. My life is not 2,000. Yeah. It is crazy. The crimes. I mean, even our media. I mean, you check even your Facebook, your YouTube, they are deleting people like with Dr. Shiv, Dr. Bart, any credible scientist who's coming and saying, no, you've got it all wrong. This lockdown, it doesn't justify or cannot be justified over the numbers and over corona, over this corona, that we are told that it's a super virus. The bodybuilder of a virus on steroids, it lives on metals for days. Hmm? All of a sudden, there's a shutdown. It is crazy. It is crazy. People being shot in Alexander. And one day, you're going to have to negotiate, not negotiate, debate. You know, debate. Let me know. Let me have that because I almost said, you know what? Look at uh, in America. These guys they're protesting with guns, rifles. Do you think soldiers or police will come and drag one of them out, beat him out, kill him in Alexander? I'm painting a picture. I'm not saying people in Alexander should have guns, but if people in Alexander had firearms or the right to bear arms. Do you think soldiers would have walked in someone's yard, grabbed him, grabbed him out, kick him, kill him? 